Hello guys. Today we are going to start with the part two of fifty MCQ questions on computer applications. So we have already done till question number thirty one, thirty two. So let's start with question number thirty one again. So it's a quick recap of those questions, and also we'll be ending up the questions like till the last ending questions we'll be doing. So without wasting time, let's start. So we were supposed to start with question number thirty-one, I guess. So guys, this is question number thirty-one. Let's start. So string is a primitive data type, composite data type. So the answer will be option number B. That is, it is a composite data type. Fine. B. Next question. Linear search is also called binary search, sequential search, interval search, or half interval search. So the answer is sequential search. And binary search, we call it half interval search. Answer is option number B. Next question. A linear search can be used with sorted arrays only, unsorted arrays only, both sorted and unsorted arrays, or then cannot say. So just write it over here. Arrays, fine. Yeah, pe ap arrays likh lo. So its answer will be option number C. That is both sorted and unsorted arrays. What is the last index number of the array? Int num is equals to new int nine. Its length is how many? Nine. So its last index will be length minus one. That means eight. Option number C. Next question. Choose the correct syntax for an array with the name R. Data type float and having the length such that its last index is 10. ठीक है? आपको एक array declare करना है, okay? जिसका नाम है R, जिसका data type आपको float दिया हुआ है, और उसका length क्या है? उसका length इस तरीके से दिया हुआ है, इस तरीके से है कि उसका last index कितना होगा? 10 होगा. That means अगर last index 10 है, तो उसका length कितना होगा? बताओ. So guys, उसका length होगा 11, clear? तो अब आपको क्या करना है? अब आपको बताना है कि इसका correct option क्या है, fine? So let's see towards the option. So float r 10, float r is equals to new float 11. So this one is correct. Let's see again कि और भी कोई option सही है या नहीं. So r float is equals to new r 10, r float r is equals to new float 9. So this is incorrect. So the answer is option number B. Next question. In dash search, the algorithm uses the middle value of the array for the linear for the search operation. Sorry, for the search operation. Selection, linear, uh, sequential, or then half interval. So the answer is binary. Binary search. Binary search ko we also called half interval search. Next. What will be the output of the following code? Int r is equals to new int ten. R one is equals to two. System dot out dot print ln r one. So, इसमें क्या होगा इसका output? Two होगा, zero होगा, one होगा या फिर error होगा. So, guys, इसका answer होगा error. Now, how? Because यहाँ पे आपको square bracket नहीं दी गई है. So, उसके वजह से ये code हो जाता है गलत. Next. What is the total size in bytes of the array q three is equals to cat data type? आपको इसको साइज बताना है और इस आरे का डेटा टाइप क्या है इसका डेटा टाइप है कैर सो अगर एक एलिमेंट है तो वो कितना बाइट स्टोर करेगा दो बाइट्स तो अगर तीन एलिमेंट्स है तो वो कितना स्टोर करेगा थ्री टू जो सिक्स दैट मींस इसका साइज कितना होगा ये कितना टोटल साइज स्टोर करेगा दैट इज सिक्स सिक्स बाइट सो द आंसर इज ऑप्शन नंबर बी नेक्स्ट इफ यू यूज टू लोअर केस मेथड टू अ स्ट्रिंग इट कन्वर्ट्स ईच कैरेक्टर In the string to lower case, cannot change the upper case characters to lower case. Can change the special characters in the string to its ASCII code both A and C. So the answer is option number A. That is, वो character वो string के हर एक character को lower case में बदल देता है. Next question. What is the output of the following code? आपको इस code का output बताना है. A दिया हुआ है 10, B दिया हुआ है star. आपको concat करना है A को A से. That means आपको A को A से जोड़ना है. तो A कितना है 10? तो A को अगर आप एक और A से जोड़ोगे तो कितना मिल जाएगा 10, 10. So the answer is option number C. C 
see this is numbering mistake it is c and this one is d so the answer is c that is 10 10 next question when no access specifier is mentioned then by default that member variable or method of a class is public private static or protected simply option number a is the right option that is public a public hoga. next question instance variables are also called static variables class variables non-static variables ya fir local variables so this answer hai option number c is non-static variables bhi kaha jata hai next encapsulation is achieved through inheritance polymorphism access specifier ya fir extraction so the answer will be option number c that is access specifier c next question the dash of a variable refers to that part of the program in which the variable is accessible block method scope both a and c ye wala question aapne kai baar padha hai and this question is for you uh, this is a homework for you all so try it out and let me know the answer in the comments or in the telegram next the access specifier that gives least accessibility is public private protected no access specifier so the answer will be option number b private and jab most accessibility ki baat ki jayegi to public daloge next arrays are dash data types composite different private or both a and b so the answer will be option number d is se hum composite or reference dono keh sakte kyunki composite or reference ek hi cheez ko refer kar raha hai next initialize a single dimensional array with the elements 1 2 3 4 5 6 so aapko single dimensional array kya karna hai initialize karna hai matlab values rakhni hai fine to yahan pe aapke paas options hai so let's see int r is equals to 1 2 3 4 5 6 syntax galat hai kyunki yahan pe again square bracket nahi hai int r is equals to yahan pe initialize to ki nahi option b mein and option c mein kya hai uh, int square bracket r is equals to 1 2 3 4 5 6 and then semicolon last hai int r is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 6 bas square bracket mein hai so the answer is option number c hum ye wale square bracket ko r ke baad mein bhi likh sakte hain ya fir uske pehle bhi likh sakte hain this is not wrong so the answer is c next question what is the value of x when the following code is executed int a is equals to 1 2 3 4 5 6 theek hai x ki value batani hai so array a ka value diya hua hai aur aapko x ka value nikalna hai so x is equals to x uh, a at index 2 a at index 2 kitna hai batao let's just count so this is our 0 index 1 index and this is our 2 index that means 4 hai uh, second index pe aur 6 hai kis index pe fourth index pe so dono ko multiply karna hai 6 4 the 24 aur 0 index pe hai 1 that means 25 24 plus 1 25 so the answer is option number d that is 25 next question in the given array a 3 5 6 7 what is the value of a 2 into 0 that means 2 into 0 0 hoga to array at 0 index pe aapko batana hai ki a at 0 index pe kya value hai that means 3 so the answer is option number c fine answer is option number c that is 3 all right next question the array char ch a b c occupies dash bytes in the memory so a character kitna store karega 2 bytes so teen character kitna store karenge 3 bytes so the answer is the answer is option number c that is 6 next question in the array int a is equals to 1 2 3 what is the size of array aapko array ka size batana hai okay size in the sense length so, if three elements, hai, length kya hoga? 3. So, size kitna hoga? 3. So, the answer is option number B. That is 3. So, guys, these were the questions from your computer applications. I hope you liked video. Achhi lag hogi. Sare questions you will understand. And if you have got a homework, mila hai, try it out and let me know the answer. Thank you so much. We will be meeting in the next video. Subscribe the channel now. Uh, like and share the videos so that the other students can take the benefit of the video. Thank you so much.